So far, my family tree, my investigation into it, includes a Freemason and some dodgy pub landlords. You'd think that it possibly couldn't get any more ridiculous. Well, it does get more ridiculous because I've managed to trace it back to 1698 to a chap called Thomas Quilliam, who was born on the Isle of Man, I presume. I don't know when he was born on the Isle of Man, but it was sometime before 1698. And that's Manx ancestry, not from Thomas Quilliam, but from another ancestor of mine, my great, great, great grandfather, John Bridson, means I'm probably descended from either St Bridget or Manx royalty. Since I'm 75% certain that St Bridget died a virgin, I'm probably descended from Manx royalty. You can just call me Prince James. Or JPC, Prince of Man. The problem comes with the fact that on the Isle of Man, the name Bridson is stupidly, stupidly common, and they all share about five forenames between them, namely John, Robert, Thomas, Anne and Elizabeth. The interesting one, though, is my great-great-grandfather, Thomas Bridson, John's son. Now, I know for a fact that he was born in... 1835 in Patrick on the Isle of Man and in 1841 he was living with his father and his mother Elizabeth who actually Elizabeth is interesting as well because I think she might have been a black widow but let's not go into that now let's let's save that for another day because yeah that's complicated he was living in a place called Balala in the Isle of Man which is somewhere south of Peel. But the problem is that after 1841 he disappears for 20 years and doesn't turn up again until 1871 when he's living on the other side of the island with a married woman. And 10 years later he's married to her and they have a grandson apparently or it's her grandson because she when they get married is widowed. And I should mention that in 1871 he's widowed as well, but I can't find any trace of his first wife because he freaking disappears for the 20 years between 1840, 40, in fact it's 30 years he disappears for. Blimey, 30 years disappears. In 1881 he's living in Greater Manchester with a woman called Elizabeth. But in 1891 he's back with Anne again in exactly the same house. Who the fuck Elizabeth is? I have no idea. No trait of when they got married. No trait of her death. Wonderful. So, after Anne dies in 1897, he goes back to the Isle of Man, finds another wife, a widow, Sarah Jane. He takes her back to the mainland. He marries her in the same Liverpool church as he married his last wife. And three years later, they have a daughter. My great-grandmother, who married a Freemason. She's born in about 1900. He only goes and names her after his fucking dead wife, doesn't he? I want to find out more about him. Because he's a very interesting man. Because not only did he get married at least three times, he disappears for 30 years, and he's also a consummate liar. Or he went to the Diane Abbott School of Mathematics, which is about three miles outside of Douglas. In all the various census returns and marriage documents and whatever else, he claims to have been born in either 1832, 1835, 1836, 1837, 1838, 1842, and 1847. Blimey! I really hope I can find a picture of this guy or find out more about him because I think he might just be my most interesting ancestor.